This video will cover difficult questions part 2 to relating the topic of trigonometric integrals. Question 1. In general, if there is a fractional integral problem, substitution is usually done with u in the denominator. This integral will substitute the secant in the denominator with u, so we need a factor of secant x tangent x to form the u. First, the integral of tangent cubed x as a product of tangent squared x tangent x over square root of secant x times secant x over secant x dx then we can rewrite as the integral of tangent squared x over this one using the power form secant x to the power of 1 over 2 times secant x then this one tangent x secant x dx then use the trigonometry identity tangent squared x is secant squared x minus 1 over together make secant x to the power of 3 over 2 then tangent x secant x dx then use u substitution let u equal secant x derive on each side du equals secant x tangent x dx then back to the original the integral of secant x is u so u squared minus 1 over u to the power of 3 over 2. Then this part is du. Then we can rewrite as the first one u squared over u to the power of 3 over 2 minus second one 1 over u to the power of 3 over 2. Then du equals simplify the fraction u to the power of 2 minus 3 over 2 which is 1 over 2 minus make the power form u to the power of minus 3 over 2 then du integrate use the power rule u to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 minus u to the power of Minus 3 over 2 plus 1 is minus 1 over 2 over minus 1 over 2 plus c. 1 over 3 over 2. Flip the fraction in the denominator upside down, which is 2 over 3. Then u to the power of 3 over 2. Make the positive. Then flip the number 1 over 2, which is 2 over 1. Then u to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus c. Then final answer is 2 over 3. u was secant x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 2 secant x to the power of minus 1 over 2 plus c. Question 2. The integral of cosine x plus sine x over use the trig double angle identity sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x then dx make two fractions two moves to here 1 over 2 the integral of the first one cosine x over sine x cosine x plus the second one sine x over sine x cosine x then dx equals 1 over 2 integral of cosine x is cancelled 1 over sine x plus sine x is cancelled 1 over cosine x dx then we can rewrite as 1 over 2 integral of this one is cosecant x 
plus secant x dx. Then use the basic trigonometric formula. 1 over 2 ln absolute value of secant x minus cotangent x plus ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. Why did I put this simple integral in the difficult part? This is because there are sine x and cosine x, but we cannot use the formulas we learned earlier. It is because it is up to you to think about how to integrate and find a way. Question 3 is similar to question 2. Think about how you can change the shape so that you can use the integral formula for the trigonometric functions you have already learned. Integral of 1 over cosine x minus 1 times cosine x plus 1 over cosine x plus 1 dx equals the integral of the numerator is cosine x plus 1 over when you expand the denominator use a minus b times a plus b equals a squared minus b squared so a part squared is cosine x squared then minus b part squared is 1 squared which is 1 then dx equals integral of cosine x plus 1 over use the trigonometric identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 then cosine squared x move 1 to the left equals move sine squared x to the right it's minus sine squared x then back to the original the denominator is this one minus sine squared x dx separate the first one is cosine x over minus sine squared x plus the second one 1 over minus sine squared x dx equals integral of minus this one cosine x over sine squared x equals cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x we can rewrite as cotangent x times cosecant x then back to the original cotangent x cosecant x minus 1 over sine is cosecant then squared x then dx then integrate the first one is cosecant x then second one is plus cotangent x plus c Secant cubed x has already been studied in the integration by part, typical part 1. This is because you cannot integrate using the trigonometric integral formula. But secant cubed x is also a trigonometric function. So let's review it again. We can rewrite as the integral of secant squared x times secant x dx. Secant x is easy to differentiate. Let u equal secant x, then derive on each side, du equals secant x tangent x dx, then dv equal secant squared x dx, then integrate on each side, v equal tangent x. Use the formula, the integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du equals u is secant x v is tangent x minus integral of 
v is tangent x, du is here, secant x, tangent x, dx. We can rewrite as secant x, tangent x, minus integral of secant x and tangent x squared then dx equals secant x tangent x minus integral of secant x use the trigonometry identity tangent squared x is secant squared x minus 1 dx equals secant x tangent x minus integral of expand secant cubed x minus secant x dx equals secant x tangent x make two integrals the first one minus integral of secant cubed x dx plus integral of secant x dx we did integration by part now back to the original question the question the integral of secant cubed x dx equals this one secant x tangent x minus integral of secant cubed x dx plus integral of secant x dx move this one to the left then two times integral of secant cubed x dx equals secant x tangent x plus this one is ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c. Then divide by 2 on each side. The final answer of integral of secant cube x dx equals 1 over 2 secant x tangent x plus ln absolute value of secant x tangent x plus c this is the last one the integral of secant x times use the trigonometric identity this one we can rewrite as secant squared x minus 1 dx equals integral of expand secant cubed x minus secant x dx equals remember the integral you just found in question 4 so 1 over 2 secant x tangent x plus ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x then minus the integral of secant x is ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c then expand 1 over 2 secant x tangent x plus 1 over 2 ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x minus ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c equals 1 over 2 secant x tangent x then these two combine together minus 1 over 2 ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x plus c i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions leave them in a comment below thank you for watching Please like and subscribe for more.